Stunts fan here with Cinder for game number one of this best of three between Game and Gladiators and Tundra. This is going to be a sick series, Cinder Man. And welcome Whether you're home. a pro player or you're a 4K player, like diversifying your pool gives you a different and deeper understanding of the game. And I think that's part of his oh. X Factor. Nice arrow. arrow blood hits. grenade. Yes, I believe that will be first blood going the way of Tofu. So Game and Gladiators first on the board. Beautiful arrow. Mm -hmm. Tundra, they might have the read here with Tops in his tower. Yep, but... they zip on in. White Mon looks super dead. Tofu's going to join the party. Starstorm is there as well. Pure on the run. That regen's still going for Quinn. The Lucid Beam connects, but just too many heroes as Game and Gladiators with a 3 0 start to this game. And now comes the big question What do you do now that Brute is six and you're Luna? I think Radiance is too slow, but the question, like the old mid Alchemist build that some players would go for would be Solar Crest. I'm actually clearing out the Radiance now. Um, it's high risk, high reward. Uh, yep. I, can't, I can't say I love it because I'm a little bit All concerned. Right, first arena of the game will All be right. reserved for Celery, and that's the first kill from Tundra. They I mean, they're on the only board. down 1,000 at this point, so, so yeah, if not. he's in, oh boy, Pure about Trump. to get completely surrounded. Two tomatoes, a porcupine, and then some game and gladiators heroes as well. The oh, third yeah, so death. feels like oh, he's actually regening quite a bit as Quinn running out of mana, but eventually we'll does get the kill. As, I will oh, say, so you say we're yeah, cursing. Stack, we'll give him radiance though if he can eventually finish it. But while he's thinking about that, the tier two tower top is gone. It's. Would you believe it? They've made us patch to this game, so now there's two Tormentors. <laughs> he found the second one. Soxa! Soxa! He's dead. Very dead. Does have his ult now, but still, just too much damage. And bottom lane, Duraccio. Duraccio. He is surrounded. There's the arena. The Eclipse coming out. Tops he with trades? His... Duraccio somehow kills Ramses before, and now pure. I assume, I mean, he's going to have to go like a blink BKB or something oh. to that effect as Ramses. We'll find Quinn, or is it the other way around? 9-2 start for Gaiman as, again, you talked about it. 5k lead against a core Alk. As Thompson, he will run into Duraccio, no, gets off the concoction. Yep, Pure is in the area as well, gets off the Lucent Beam. Here comes Tofu, though, trying to block them out, puts down the GG branch. Duraccio stuck in a corner. Big kill for Thompson. He probably just forgot. Uh, <laughs> good luck, Quinn. I mean, he did have Aegis, so would have been the worst thing in the world, but Soxa, he's going to be found and eventually will be brought down as well. In the meantime, we have Duraccio's bear. He's like, what does this bear even have on it? It's just branches, for God's sake. But they're going to come up with some backup. It's pure in the back line, be able to take out Duraccio in tow. Quinn, he gets the kill. Ace actually gets the kill on Topson, and the Aegis still remains online for Quinn. Showing himself level 17, has the Manta, Dragon Lance, and what's next? Looks like he'll actually finish the Hurricane Pike. Yeah, I think he wants a way to reliably disengage from the bear. Oh, Clive near initiation. Speaking of. Into the arrow, Sox is dead. Yeah. Good start here for Gaiman. That was their smoke pop, though. They only, they still have Quinn smoke, but the rest are now visible. So I think Sox might have just taken that one for the team. And once again, let's keep in mind that the, the name of the game here for Tundra is not winning fights. It's staying alive. You know, very rarely, a lot of the time when we cast, I, I'm a champion of, you know, you got to take low percentage plays to get back in the game or whatever. Yeah. And a lot of the time when you look at this game state as white man is dead, uh, that would be what I would be preaching is, all right, the Dire have to group up, take, make a smoke play and try to get something done to stabilize the game and get back. But in this particular game, the solution is actually to farm. You just dodge, dodge, dodge. It's AC. It's yeah, so Shiva AC is still missing. Um, I don't know if they want either of them right now. Oh, uh, we have an arena. Oh, oh, the Miss Fear doesn't really matter. Though. Celery is basically a creep within here. Pure and company will. Okay, the pipe is a little bit louder. Duraccio going in with the harpoon, doing so much damage to this Mars. Ramsey's just abandoned by his team as Thompson will concoct and attempt to run. He might be stunning himself, but the, the arrow is upon Soxa again. We've seen it time and time again <laughs> in this game as now Game and Gladiators on the footsteps here of the base yeah. from Tundra. And I was talking about how for Game inside, if they mess up a push, Tundra can, this is the type of game they can solve, but you got to look at the other side oh, of the Oh, that's too. a lot of damage on the Quinn. He better be careful. That does not have the Aegis here. 
who's still defending us only three for now, so this is a pretty good sign for Tundra. If these three can hold the tower on their own with just the threat of a potential buyback, that is very good news for them. Pure. Yeah. Look at Jump. Gets initiated on already half HP. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, Tries to force that away. That but hurts. he is dead for a full minute. And now you have to worry about the zoo from Gaming Gladiators. They just did the hard part of this defense. And then they walked outside Wait, he of just base got got buyback. Punished. He just got buyback on Pure. He does not want to have to spend this here. No, it is really, not, but really expensive. I mean, they're going to lose a lot here. Crimson will delay just a bit. They'll have another fortification refreshed here. After the melee racks goes down, they likely will have to give up this set, though, surely. Another Harpoon initiation. Soxa dead again. Yeah, you don't really expect to be harpooned by the ranged <laughs> lone droid, do you? It's not really... There's no, uh, how to say, frame of reference for that one. Uh, I genuinely think it's possible Saxandra might just turn tail and run here. I, I think without information, this play is just so low percentage. They might be better off... Pure's actually flanking sticking around. Okay. Yeah. They can see that somebody's taking some lotuses, and they must be punished for their transgressions. Eclipse He's used on the dying. tofu. <laughs> BKB! How? Quinn pops his BKB. Everybody's golden on Gaming Gladiator's side as Pierce taking breath of the damage actually inside the arena, getting really low. Finally, the Luna drops is at the cost of the brood, though. And remember, Aegis still there for Quinn. They just picked it up. Thompson now attempting to pursue. He gets feared away. Ramsey's with a nice rebuke to end Tofu finally. As Soxa dies for the hundredth time this game, is Duracho continuing to just right click away with this Echo Saber. Ramsey's the last remaining member of Tundra, about to fall. Full team wipe for Gaming Gladiators. And Quinn is beyond god like 10 0 and 9. I feel like we have not had many games this tournament where Storm Spirit is number one net worth. But he makes it look so yes. damn easy. But the arena from Mars was oh. insane there. Thompson finding an opening onto Duraccio. Picked up a Scotty, so he is mega tanky. Gets feared away of his own arena as well. Pure Good with arrow. the Eclipse. Trying to tank it up his Duraccio with his Barry. He's finally going to be brought to an end. Quinn, Aegis still online. Will not try to waste it here Gee. and back away. Similar story, maybe two and a half. So. Those two items, that evasion, that armor, is going to negate a ton of what Lone Druid is bringing to the table. Oh, Drew. God. is going to find oh. uh, some friends. That is so sad. Yeah. They baited the bounties. Don't see that very often at 31 minutes in the game. But. So in, in ranged form, he has almost 5,000 health, by the way. In ranged form. Yeah, this is That ridiculous. is absurd. That is actually God, that is insane. Oh, they might be catching Ramsey's here. Quint gets Lucent Beam. Electric Vortex is there. He's taking a lot of damage from Sox on the other side, though. Ramsey's finally uses his arena and dies shortly after. And Quint continuing on with that BKB. Thompson concoction onto two BKB targets because everybody has that item on Gaming Gladiator's side. Two dead for Tundra. And just like that, we're in a five versus three, not including Aegis. Tundra were just and not ready. will melt. Uh-oh, another kill. Yeah, opening up onto Soxa again. No buyback. Having a anymore. really rough game. Still two cores alive for Tundra, but surely they cannot defend this. This is this is minimum megas if that's what they want. They could even just full-on push for tier fours. Yep, they, they will they try. Will. That massive siege damage from Duraccio's bear with the branches still in his inventory. And they're gonna try to go on top of the Luna, pure dead again. Chenna's AC. Have buyback. <laughs> uh, All right. And Thompson, last remaining member for the time being, inside of his fountain. Just trying to kite them. Duraccio's bear tickling him as so GG over. is called. Gaiman absolutely manhandled Tundra in game number one. And just a, a little detail toward the end of that. First of all, I didn't see if the bear had solo player. We talked about that. I forgot uh, to check yeah, if you were you right. Forgot. Yep. Good. The Laundry himself had 500 damage per hit. Yeah. I guess I trust Tundra's read that there's a mid laner coming out of game in here. I will say it's pretty good at stopping the snowball save with the pit. Pretty good against uh, Puck as well with the with the root. The torrent. Okay. They're not going to pursue. There it is. As we have a concoction from Duraccio with the acid spray being laid down for Ramses. Just a little bit of harassment back and forth. Already two stacks of shadow poison from Soxa though onto Celery. And the third will connect. He's going to pop the stick. Blood Grenade applied as well. Not able to get the fourth, though, as Soxa eventually run down. And Celery will take a bit of damage here, but should be able to survive. Team versus Duraccio's 31 and 5. Yep. Wow. I didn't think it would be this bad. That's pretty crazy. 
Fortunately, Quinn has a haste run, he'll go kill the enemy carry. So, Garacho's <laughs> still far ahead of Pure. And, and now they're gonna die. White Mon, White Mon cookied up. He's got the snowball. Five. Yeah. Onto the siege. And he's but he is surrounded and will eventually be killed off. Only question is who will get credit for it. It will be Ace. And now the tier one tower is next. Straight back to mid for Quinn. Job. Yeah, Almost a lot taking of the mid to your to tier one tower on the puck minute nine. Drinking buddies with the coil attached. Oh, he actually does not break it. He's still in the high ground. The snowball does secure the kill, but Ace has come in with the pit of malice now onto White Mon, who's eventually going to get chased out. So it will likely just be a one for one trade. Here's your shovel. Dead. As the oh. firestorm and the necro book will assist. Yep. Silver uh. is leveled. <laughs> There's Moonmi under the bottom right as we have a gank here. Quint, he's going to get the Burrow Strike correctly used here as White Mon will take a tumble. It was just a setup to bait more heroes to rotate and then make Even the same team play fight combos. With the Puck plus Coil. Speaking oh, of Coil, on. will be used. Topson's already kind of low on HP as the Fiend's Gate's coming. Mortimer's Kisses doing a decent amount of work as Ramsey's going to get stuck inside of the pit. The Burrow Strike will be there as well. He gets Drinking Buddies though. Socks that will self-disrupt. Likely will fall here as the black hole comes from Celery. That's the death of Soxa. And Ramsey's probably next on the list. Indeed, he is. And they even find Thompson on the other side. So, gaming gladiators. They, look at their HP. But yeah, that's going to be a 13 minute radiance. Not the fastest, but it's solid. And overall, the course of the game is fine. It's off the X. The torrent did not hit, but they should have enough damage. Obviously, Celery without the black hole still. This is charge such a slow in. kill, though. Still, yeah, it they, did, it they just did don't work, have damage, do they? Once the 20 minute goal has been achieved, then you can start planning for minute 40. And well, right now, came in with a 7,000 gold Ramsey's, lead and the dive here. He's spotted. Concoction's coming for him with the burrow strike and the epicenter. Nice disruption from Soxa. Gonna make it get a ton of that damage. The Kunkka stuck inside the pit though, as Soxa's facing the rain of Duracho, who will eventually run him down. Ramsey's is actually the first to fall though. As Soxa somehow living this Cookie long, across. but not for much longer. So it is two kills yeah. for Gaiman. I don't think uh, Soxa meant to disrupt the Sand King there. I think he actually misclicked and wanted to disrupt the Kunkka because um, I was like, that was a good play because Puck got away. Um, yeah. That really seems to be the state of the game. Pure, let's see if he can make a good oh play and escape boy. this one. Yep, he's going to attempt to he TP cannot. out, but the Burrow Strike from Quinn and the Scatter Blast eviscerates him. Oh, Thompson already and jaunted. Thompson will have to use his coil in retreat. He's going to take a Drinking Buddies and run away. Yeah, the fact that he jaunted already is going to force him to use ult. So TP coming in from Sand King and out from the south. Yeah, Ramsey's. And, and Quinn has now made his way over. This should be the death of Ramsey's again. Surrounded Actually on uses all his sides. Boats. But, yeah, Tundra. Ooh. This is looking really rough. I was expecting, I mean, obviously it could get turned around here, but ever since we mentioned that Pure was the best player in this tournament, Cinderin. <laughs> you should have never said it. You agreed with me, you're part of this curse. That's what friends do. Yeah. Like, do I look good oh in this shirt? Boy. Yeah, you do. But Black Hole ensures yet another kill. White Mon tried for some sort of a save, but he might just get run down as well. Meanwhile, they are just dropping like flies. Epicenter not going to do that much damage because of the disruption as Pure trying to keep Quinn at arm's length. But his arms are really gangly and long, Cinderin. He's going to get the Burrow Strike and the kill. This is a good opportunity to learn. He has ridiculous wingspan. What if Gaiman were tricking everyone the whole tournament into banning their second best strategy? <laughs> And now they gave them their best strategy by banning oh, all God. the heroes. The kisses come from very far away. Quinn with a double kill. My goodness, this is not even remotely close. What happened? This they... is the upper bracket semis. Yep. Gaiman are making Tundra look just awful. But Gaiman, they are just on another level right now, it feels like. They yeah. get the tier three. And now, looking for their first set of racks at 19 minutes. No Roche even attempted yet, by the way. They feel invincible. They're just they way too tanky like on they their are. The Sand King Bloodstone, you put a Solar Crest on him, you have Underlord next to him with Greaves. You have Glimmer on the Snapfire. The Alchemist himself already has a Manta as well, so he has a self-dispel when he gets jumped on to be in front and cause confusion. Map. Are you going to just YOLO into a fight and hope for the best? What if they never split up, so you can't get a skirmish? Oh boy. 
Pure Here gets stunned. White Mon doing a nice job of blocking off one hero, but uh, the problem is there's many others to contest with. That's going to be two quick kills again for Gaiman. And this is 19 to 2. And coming into this, Tundra have been looking really good, too. Yep. So it just goes to show. It's funny, every time we cast Gaiman Gladiators, it's like, oh, this is a really bad matchup for the other team. It's going to be the hardest handle. matchup you're playing until you might meet them again, ultimately. Most likely, that is, is correct. Duraccio, okay. Do they have the damage to kill him off? No. Oh, he mances off the X. Wow. Oh, my God. Perfect timing. And no. now the runaround is here. Quinn, the Epi, going to slow Ramses to a crawl. The black hole. Everybody's just having their own separate fights, Cinderin. Thompson is dead. Ramses is next. As Celery eventually will fall. That is the third kill for Tundra now. Soxa gets beat down to a pulp. And it looks like Pure and Company will just have to try and run away. As White Mon inside. Okay. Double Couple buyback. buybacks. They absolutely have to get a kill here. On a core hero. Nice disruption from Soxa to dodge the concoction, but it's going to be probably too little too late. So we do have the 3-2-2, by the way. Let's hear some cheers in the crowd for that. As Pure with the Gust, we stuck inside it. against Drinking Buddy. Snowball, snowball back into it, though he gets rooted again. Oh, dear, that is not what you want to see. It was better than not snowballing. <laughs> then they would have both been stunned. Now it was only the Drow that died. Yeah, screw the Drow. All right. And Gaiman, again, no Roche attempt in this game. They are not afraid to continue on here. Here comes the boat from Ramses. He's been trying to work on this Aghanim Scepter for quite a while, but it is not coming together for him. The punch into the air. Quinn taking very little damage. He's unkillable at this point. Ramses. Been rooted three or four times in this engagement, it feels like, as the coil already used, and they just stood there because they don't do any damage. And the second Rax is upon Gaiman to claim for themselves as Tundra can only look on, although Gaiman are backing away. Perhaps a soft reset. Another, Another beautiful Manta, dodge? Manta, man. What was that game called where you had to Manta dodge things? Tra Tra training Polygon? I, I He's been playing that. He's been playing Training Polygon. All right, so what is your voice line? Since we have plenty of time to talk now, <laughs> what does your voice line mean exactly? It means cheers. It means cheers. Yes. Okay, that's something that people oh, hold that thought. Celery, okay. Got a lot of kisses going on. He's actually basically oh, making no, out with no. them with so many kisses. Get a room already as Ramsey's stuck in a horrible position. They're just going to call it GG. Uh, Game and Gladiators absolutely destroy Tundra 2-0. And they're going to go to the upper bracket finals here at TI to face off against Team Liquid. And if you showed up in the audience tonight and you were like, man, we have to get dinner before we watch the show or the restaurants are going to be closed, I have good news for you. It's eight minutes to nine. <laughs> so you might still be able to get a dinner order in because uh, Gaming Gladiators, they're hungry. Um, they right. want to get out of here as fast as possible so they can enjoy a delightful meal after already completely munching on Tundra in the most one-sided game of the entire day.